Welcome back to Blue Skies. By the way, I think that was just um, I figured out what the problem was. Nothing. It just decided to be a bitch during the first recording. Anyway, <laughs> welcome back to Blue Skies. And yeah, I think we're getting close to the end of it actually, because we're in March now. It's month six. I think it's still the six month thing. If I'm if I'm still correct, I'm not sure. And if it ends this episode, I'll be happy because we managed to get through the whole series route. But I'll be sad. And slightly annoyed because we have, would have ended on an odd number, and I hate odd numbers so much. Hey, at least we got through it. All is better. Anyway, let's jump into this. As I open my eyes and slowly grow more awake, I'm suddenly warm, overwhelmed on my chest. Siri has somehow managed to con contort herself so that she's lying di diagonally across my body with her head planted firmly on my upper body. As I feel the warmth of her breath through the fabric of my pajamas, only Sari could fall asleep like this typical girl. I can't help but smile when I gently stroke the back of her head. Her hair has always been very soft and pleasant to touch. As I move my hand towards my face and to scratch an itch on my nose, Siri suddenly murmurs, mm -hmm. Put your hand back in your hair. Mm -hmm. Sorry, I don't speak pillow. I'll take that as a yes, Del. Feels really good. You're literally like a cat, you know that? A beautiful blue-eyed cat with lovely hair. Okay, that sounds a bit weird, doesn't it? Just a bit. Meh. She jerks up right as I poke her in the ribs. She's always been sensitive to that. Oh, I was so comfy. Sorry, sorry. I pull her towards me. Here, you can use me as a pillow again. She grumbles, but eventually settles down once more. You make me, you make a really good pillow. Think, 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 thanks. I've been training on my special, my entire life in the Human Pillow Championships. I only got third last time, so it's nice to know I'm doing better now. And at this approximately, I can literally feel the vibrations of her laughter on my own skin. Stop making me laugh. I'm trying to sleep. I don't know, Sayori. If my pillow could make me laugh, I'd be mighty impressed. Maybe you should be a little more apprehensive about the gosh. Appreciative, gosh. It's rude to keep a girl from a beauty sleep, Hope. Why do you need beauty sleep? You're perfect the way you are. Okay, even though I said that, I have to admit that's pretty smooth. <laughs> Since when did you have such a charming side? <laughs> uh, about four seconds ago, apparently. Apparently, never, right? <laughs> so here you are nods and stretches, sitting up once more. Even with her hair plastered all over her face and her eyes still red with sleep, I think it's possible. For, I don't think it's possible for her to look bad. Something on my face? Just admiring the beauty. You really, how beautiful you really are. Eh. How am I going to reply to that? By feeling, feeling, so that I get to further admire how cute you are. You're such a meanie, but I'm complimenting you. Which Venerate said you look like an ostrich or something. Well, ostriches are pretty cool. I'm not gonna lie to you, they are pretty cool if you think about it. Okay, but if people think I'm a weirdo for calling you my ostrich in public, I'm blaming you. A fire truck to shove up my house. Thank you, very cool. She bursts out laughing. I kinda see that now that you said it. I roll my eyes. You must be the only girl on the planet who'd rather be called an African flightless bird than a beautiful or cute. Again, ostriches are cool. You cannot deny that. Yep. But don't forget, you chose me. Let's just go make breakfast. So what's this mystery plan you got lined up for today, yeah? Oh, that. Well, I want to keep it a surprise. But you already told me you got something planned. So that's kind of a giveaway in itself. Oops. Well, you still don't know what's going to happen. Anyway, we got a bit of time until we gotta go. What should we do? Fancy watching anime? We've been playing games a lot recently. Figured it'd be a nice change. I don't really know any, but sure. Awesome. That was super confusing. Yeah, time travel polines can get pretty perplexing. I heard they're really hard to write well. Yeah, they are. <coughs> Alright. This show pulls it off pretty well, though. Was it? Is it just me? 
who thought that the red-haired girl kind of reminded you of Natsuki? <laughs> I can see that. She glanced at the clock. Oh, I need to go get ready soon. You? Preparing something like this? Keeping it a secret? You haven't been abducted by the Yakuza, have you? No. But that can't be kind of fun. Something tells me Siri doesn't know that much about Japanese gangsters. <laughs> yeah, I can tell. Oh, by the way. Uh... You don't, have to, you don't have any dress shirts, do you? Um, yeah, I do. I think you really look nice if you wore one today. So, what you're saying is that wherever we're going has a smart dress code. She doesn't answer. Anyway, I'll see you soon. She's taking us to that fucking... To that fancy restaurant that Monica talked about for Valentine's Day, didn't she? She pulls her plate away and heads out the door, leaving me to comp... Comp... Compliment... Contemplate. Thank you. What she just said. I open wardrobe and shift my clothes. It's been a while since I had to wear a dress shirt. It's not something I normally wear, but I can tell what Siri is getting at. It's kind of hard to tell me what to wear when the whole thing is meant to be surprised. Still, I reckon this one do nicely. I pack a hoodie in my backpack too, just in case. After freshening up, I ask in front of the, I stand in front of the mirror, nervously checking how I look. I get the feeling that we're both kind of it's kind of a restaurant. We're both we're going I get the feeling we're going to some kind of restaurant, although I can't imagine why. It's not like today is Valentine's Day or anything like that. It makes it for a nice variety at least. Either way, I wanna look nice. Well it looks like time to meet her. After trying some smoothing my hair one last time, I head out. So you're already out there by the time I arrive at her house. Hey, honestly, oh, cute dress. Look at this. Honestly, look at this dress. It's really nice, man. I'm not gonna lie, it's actually a really nice dress. It's actually really cool. Anyway, well, Siori, you look like an ostrich. Absolutely beautiful. <laughs> Thank you, Hope. I'm glad you like it. You've always looked really nice, but this is something else. Earth to help? Oh, sorry. Someone's, someone's getting in its rid of the day. She giggles and loops her hand with mine. I can smell her perfume, which only lets to her lure. You look really handsome, by the way. Like one of those fancy spies. <laughs> Don't overdo it. So, where are we going? You'll see. Here we are. We're standing in front of a fancy looking restaurant. Looks like my hunch was correct. No way. What? This is the exact restaurant I was going to take you on Valentine's Day. I fucking know it. Really? Yep. Did you get the recommendation from Monica by any chance? Ah. Sure did. And I'm guessing you did too? She nods giggling. Wow, what are the chances? I guess we really, we really do think alike. So that explains your dress. Why you asked me to wear a smart shirt. It all makes sense now. Sorry. It was really hard to tell you about the dress code while we're trying to keep the whole thing a secret. It must have sounded so awkward. Now I got your reasoning. Besides, I'm really hungry, so let's just head in. <laughs> Man, Monica wasn't wrong with her description of this place. It actually looks like... I love it, honestly. Like, it's actually an amazing background, honestly. I'm not gonna lie. Wait. Let's listen to music for a second. The music sounds really nice. Really complimenting to the scenery. Okay, the first thing I noticed is the warm, cozy atmosphere it radiates, accompanied with some pleasant jazz. Siri seems impressed as well, given how much she's gushing over how the restaurant looks. As the waiter comes up to tend to us, I make a mental note to think Monica next time is here. All this stuff looks so tasty. Although, I don't know what half of it is. Then how, will you, how do you know it's tasty? Six cents. I didn't know that movie about ghosts taught you about food. Not ghosts, silly. I know, I know, just messing. Are you gonna have a starter? Hmm. I think I'll. I don't. I don't know what that word is. I. I'm not gonna say it because I am too lazy to look up words. The shrimp. Wasn't aware that you like shrimp that much, but okay. It's not every day that I get to come here. I just realized what's funny. I'm sorry, don't. Sometimes. Sometimes I forget the whole soundtrack thing. Is it? 
because it exists, I'll be honest, which is ironic because it's in every description. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I, I get way too into the game that I forget everything else exists in the world. Anyway, it's not every day that I get to come here, so I figured it'd be a good idea to try something new. Not idea, not a bad idea actually. I'll do a scene. I think I'll go with whatever the f I Ironically, I've been tr I've been saying Japanese names like semi decently, yet I can't really say a lot of Japanese words. Then again, I don't speak Japanese, so I'm just being stupid here. So, you're probably wondering why I took you here today, right? It probably can't. It probably came across as kind of random. Yeah, a little. I don't mind, though. Well, I was thinking about Valentine's Day. I kind of felt bad. We didn't get to do anything on that day. Just because I wasn't feeling up to it. So I wanted to make up for you. You didn't have to make up, make anything up to me, Siri. But I did. You were looking forward to spending the day with me. And I just told you to leave me alone. There's a reason for that. I didn't want to force anything. And besides, it's not like you chose to have a bad day, was it? Well, no, but... So don't worry about it. I'd much prefer that we had a nice romantic evening together when you felt in the mood for one. Forcing one just because Valentine's is a ba pretty bad idea on it anyway. <laughs> anyway, the food here is great. Looks like Monica really knows her stuff, huh? Mm-hmm. That food that Mosiri got is so tasty. I'm sorry. I, I can't I can't say that word. I really don't know how. You know, it might be worth learning how to cook. Given how much you love food and how much I love seeing a smile on your face, there might be something I'm, I'll am i look into, you know, for the future. She blushed slightly. Speaking of which, speaking of which, I've been thinking about the future. Our future. I know it might be a little early though. <laughs> That's pretty natural, right? I have those thoughts from time to time as well. What do you think we'll be when we finish high school? Assuming you haven't gotten bored of me by then. Hope, I never get bored of you. Kidding, kidding. In reality, well... I'd like to think we'd still be together, you know? Wait, what the fuck? Someone's outside my door. Okay, so, um, yeah, it turns out my neighbors decided to just talk in front of my house. Which is like, weird, because they live right next door. You guys don't know, these are the neighbors who usually I can, who I say are going to file a complaint against me. They decided to go into my front door and just talk in, in, right in front of it. And the only reason I know this is because my window to my bedroom it's right next to the front door. So I can see that they're talking in front of my room, essentially. And it's kind of annoying. Anyway. Kidding, kidding. Well, in reality, I think we'd still be together, you know? Yeah. It, we've only been a couple for, what, two months? But honestly, it feels like a lot longer. Pro no, I said that series, but shit. I'm so dumb. I should move my mic closer. Let me do this quickly. There you go, my mic's a bit f now closer to my mouth, because it was up high to my nose. Anyway, probably because we've known each other for so long, right? I take a bite of my food. It's really good. That's probably it, yeah. I don't think we got really lucky in that respect. I read somewhere that the best relationships tend to form when two people are best friends before they start dating. Why do you think that is? Probably because they get to know each other really well before they get into a relationship, right? They know what their partner likes and dislikes, along with their hobbies, interests, and values. My neighbors just left my door, my front door, thank god. They annoyed them. Nope, they did not. They, they're still outside my- they're, they're just- wait. They're, they're outside my window, fucking hell. Anyway, and because friends argue, fall out and make up. Wait. Sorry, I'm pausing a lot. I keep on hearing a lot of shit, like the door knocking, which is ironic because there's no one there. My neighbors left. I, Thought they were until my window, they left. I don't know why. They went to my door, of all places, just to have a conversation. Like, it's stupid. Anyway, me, like I was saying. And because friends argue, fall out, and make up, each person knows how to handle the other when they fight. Which would be really useful when dating them. Plus, it also gives them a long time for the feelings to grow. Nothing is rushed or anything. Sounds like got it. You're giving it some thought. I like to think about these things. It really helps to keep with the peace. I never thought of that. You really can't keep people happy. You can't really keep help keep people happy if you understand them, right? Yep. You're really perspective and smart. I always enjoyed that one, that side of you. Really? 
well, let's take the incident where um, you uh, forgot your gloves back in November. It was a pre pretty clever way to get me to hold your hands, and it worked too. I don't know what to say about the cra this crafty side of yours that's so alluring. Perhaps because I never knew, never know when it's going to strike next. So what do you keep seeing my toes? There's always been much more to you than meets I, I guess. It's a, it's a bit devious, but it was pretty fun to play with people like that. Which is why it's more rewarding when I manage to get you back. We always try to one-up each other, something that stayed with us since childhood. That's what I love the most about is is that it's our unique little in joke. Sorry, my, my ears itchy. In game, I don't know what the right wording would be. <laughs> yeah, definitely. I really enjoy it too. It's our own little thing that no one can ever take away from us. So precisely. Terry so pushes her empty plate away from her. Unlike many times before, she doesn't just wolf down her meal as fast as possible. Nor does she take a remarkably long time to eat it. Looks like her appetite is a lot more consistent these days. Can I see the dessert menu? Only if you promise me that you won't bite the entire thing. Can't make that promise, sorry. I hand the menu over her eyes and her eyes light up she scans the options. How can you fit any more food in? Your mane looked really filling. Dessert doesn't go to the stomach cup, it goes to the heart. That may be the dumbest yet most profound thing I've ever heard in a while. Well look, they have chocolate cake. And it comes with vanilla ice cream. And sprinkles. You know what? You got me in a dessert mood now. <laughs> Let's take two. After a while, we finish our meals and the waiter comes over with the bill. Ouch. Well, at least you get what you pay for here. As I pull out my wallet, Siri intervenes. Hey, what do you think you're doing? I'm paying for the... There's... What do you think you're doing? I, I said that in Siri's voice. I didn't realize. Wait, did she say that? I think she said the first one, didn't she? Yeah, I, she said it and then I said it in her voice. Shit. There's no way I'm letting you pay for this alone help. It's okay. Mom left, me, Mom left me some money. That's not the point, silly. You already do so much for me. So this time, I want to give something back to you. But I don't want you to pay for the entire thing. Either. It's hardly cheap. Nah, -uh, not this time. I open my mouth to argue, but Sirius will lose his holds firm. Okay. Okay. If you insist. She smiles sweetly. I do. We pay the bill and stand up to leave. We find I find a way to slip some yen in her pocket when she isn't looking. Wow. Look at the stars, Hope. She's shivering. A given, really, due to the temperature and the wind. The dress she's wearing probably doesn't help. Cut. Luckily, I came prepared. I pull out the hoodie from my backpack, standing next to her. I can put it. I help her into it. Once I'm done, I hug her close to me and plant a kiss on the back of her neck. They might look beautiful, Siri, but they have absolutely nothing on you. Eh. <laughs> and thank you. Oh, for paying? It's nothing. I just didn't want. Not for that. Thank you for taking a chance on me, for letting me back into your life, and for letting me help you. You keep talking about how much I've done for you, but I don't think you've, I've told you how much you've done for me. You gave me something I look forward to each and every morning. Even on days where we don't spend that time together, just seeing you, if only for a minute, was enough to make my day better. It's all thanks to you that I was introduced to a world of poetry and a club full of friendship. I didn't realize how badly I was missing friendship, friendship in my life until that fateful day when you let me walk, me, walk with you to school, all those months ago. If it weren't for you, I probably would have spent my last two years of high school alone, becoming more and more of an eat by the day. You made such a positive change in my life, and I can't thank you enough for that. I uh, hope. But there's so much more than that. Seeing your eyes shine when you laugh, seeing your nose scrunch up when you try and you're thinking about something, hearing a laugh, reminiscing, reminiscing about the old days. A day never goes by where I don't consider myself the luckiest guy on the planet. All because a girl is as beautiful and amazing as you are, considers me your boyfriend. I, I don't know what to say. I, It's okay, Siri. You don't say anything. I just want to let you know how much you mean to me. Because you honestly are my world. I love hearing your laugh. I love hearing your smile. I love how you're a daily part of my life now. And more importantly, sour so never. I love you, Siri. Well, there it is. Those three words have been spoken. R really? 
Really, really. I'm sorry if it came out of the blue or I love you too, Hope. I was scared that I'd see you too soon. I didn't want to scare you or anything. I can't help a stifle laugh. That's exactly how I've been feeling. We are really, really are in a safe wavelength. She reaches out to wipe a happy tear away. It feels so good to finally be able to see it back. It does. It really, really does. She turns around and faces me with tears in her eyes. She slowly leans in towards the face towards mine, and we share a kiss. A kiss almost that feels entirely different than any other kiss we've shared before. Is it because we've only exclaimed our love for each other? Or because we're doing the cerebral thing of kissing under the moonlight? Who knows? We break apart, but our faces remain close. So his voice has lowered to whisper in either main alarm. She's still shivering a little, but it carries on regardless. I can't believe we're actually in this situation right now. I had dreams about this moment. Where'd we get to say those three words? We open our eyes at the same time. I was so scared that this would feel wrong, or that it wouldn't match my expectations. I think that's another reason why I was scared to say it too early. But I'm so glad we waited for the right moment. Me too, Sayori. It's all been worth it. She laughs softly. I knew there was something about you. Back when we first laid eyes on each other, all those years ago. You always made me feel warm and fuzzy inside. And that never changed. No matter how many years have passed. It took me a long time to realize my feelings. And they were so confusing. I didn't know why I found myself smiling for no reason. And even though the rain clouds were there, no matter how hard I drained, they could never put out that tiny little ember. The tiny little ember that was you. Which was always there. And I was... Brr. Well, it looks like Mother Nature didn't care about the slight, <laughs> slightest of romance. The cold wind remains, which were feeling dormant, has suddenly burst to life. We get to meet at home, don't worry. Yeah, not a bad idea. I laugh when I pull her close to me, trying to warm her up. One speedy power walk later, and we're both back home, saving the warmth of the room. Luckily, the atmosphere hasn't been disrupted too much. <sighs> That's much better. Now, what were you saying? She walks up to me and pushes, it, pulls her hands to my face. Her thumb slowly massages my chin, and the other hand it goes to stroke my hair. I was so scared to fall in love. When you told me that you liked me, I did not. I had no idea how to respond. And. As you saw, I panicked. She smiles ruefully. But things are different now. You helped me realize that it's okay to take that chance. That maybe, just maybe, my own happiness isn't something I should hate. Things aren't entirely perfect, but today is where I am at now. You should be sorry. You've been so brave. You've overcome so much. It's all because of you. And it's all because of you. You were once that little ember, but you grew into a roaring fire. A fire that refused to bur be put out. She kisses me once more. To my surprise, she uses her tongue again. And that's when it starts getting dirty. Let me make sure something quickly. Thank God. Immediately, my heart starts to race. I'm very well aware of what the atmosphere was like the last time we kissed. She, me like, she kissed me like that. And this time, there's no one around to interrupt us. I kiss her back just as passionately. The hunger, that sense of urgency, it's all falling back to us, though. I need... Life. <clears throat> uh, so, if it's anything sexual, I'm not reading it. I'm just gonna read it. Because I'm, I'm just gonna stay quiet. Goosebumps are rubbed over my arms. And there's so much I could see. But there's a better way of showing how I feel. I can hardly hear the sound of my heart thumping in my chest. Is this really happening? It's censored, right? Are, are you sure? Her reply is barely whispered, but the conviction and assurance are so strong it's almost like she shouted it. Yes. Tentatively, her arm starts picking up buttons in my shirt. Her. I'm just gonna appreciate the music.
think I hope this gives me an idea. Anyway, sorry. Tonally, she she doesn't just last one in house games. Are, are you okay with this? Uh, yeah. Sorry, I'm just really nervous. <laughs> That's okay. Me too. She turns around. Uh, You know, um, you know what, I, what I've decided? I'm gonna pause the recording here until we're done with that. Because fuck no. I am not getting fucking age restricted because of what's about to happen. So I'll see you guys in a bit. <sighs> that was the worst minute of my life. I think it's been a minute. Anyway. I love you. I know she says our name and then we answer, yeah. I, I should have like stopped when that happened. But still, I'm dumb. I, I love you too, Sayori. How's absolute. I hate my life. I should have kept on going. She giggles softly. It really was. Silence again. Not, it's not comfortable though. I'm trying to rack my mind for what I see the most. I think it's been the best day of my life so far. <laughs> I wonder why. Mine too, Hope. Mine too. The dreamy tone of her voice makes me smile. Oh, and Sayori, you're perfect. Literally. This isn't, there isn't a single thing that I'd change about you. She opens her mouth to protest. On instinct, then she's gonna say, Yes, even your depression. I've been so, so proud of you. You've come such a long way. From opening up to me, like going to therapy, to eventually having the strength to do it alone. I'm so happy to be able to convince me by your side. I know we've only been together for two months, but honestly, it feels a lot longer. There's silence in a moment. I, I don't know what to say, Hope. I really don't. It's except thank you. And I love you. I, I, I couldn't help... I couldn't have imagined doing any of this without you. You really there are the best boyfriend a girl could ask for. <laughs> I'm nothing special. It's you who... No, you really are, Hope. You're too, just too modest to see it. You've always been so caring and loving towards me. Since day one, you've made a mission to put a smile on my face. Sometimes your success, you've always succeeded at that. You are, you're the sunshine in my life. The light that there to guide me through my darkest days. Something that I'll always be, be so great, so grateful for. You haven't given me a reason to, you haven't, you just haven't given, ah. You haven't just gave me a reason to smile. No, you gave me something I thought I'd lost forever. You gave me hope. Actual, genuine hope. And maybe, just maybe, things might be okay. Huh? Wait. Holy shit! That's the end? So, um, guys! I never. Th By the way, that's what the character. That's the concept art of what the main character looks like. I'm not sure if it's like confirmed, but it's highly accepted in the community. You guys don't know? Hey, Sayori. Uh, <laughs> oh my god! That was the biggest emotional roller coaster I've ever dealt with in life but uh thank you guys for watching this Siori route uh honestly you think guys for watching you guys have been amazing the next the next I will of course be doing game again but I will be doing Natsuki's route next Hey, look, a dog. Anyway, yeah, I'll be doing Natsuki's route next. So... That, yeah, that, that's happening. So, uh... 
again, these are all the people who worked on, like, I didn't say this earlier, but these are all the people who worked on it, these are all the amazing, amazing people who worked behind the scenes in this game, on this mod, and, uh, <laughs> god damn, I'm sorry, like, we got the good ending, honestly. I, I don't know. I love this. <laughs> Honestly, I'm. Thank you guys all for watching this series. By the way, yep, I said main character thing. Anyway, <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching. It's just taking us straight to. My wow, holy shit. Are you guys watching? Yeah. Yeah, it took us back to the main screen. I was saying, <laughs> thank you guys for watching. Uh, next time, tomorrow, because normally I'll do two. Blue Skies videos a day, but because this ended on an odd episode, uh, tomorrow will be the start of the next round. So not the keys round. And uh, for that episode, we're just gonna I'm just gonna do the cutscenes with Natsuki, like all those scenes you have with Natsuki in, the, in Act One, combined in one episode. Then all of Act Two and Act Three will be Natsuki stuff. So uh, yeah, <laughs> that was um. Holy shit, I just, I just can't right now, like, holy shit, that was, that was amazing. That was, like, I said a lot that this is one of the most anticipated mods to come out, and this ending just proved why. It's an amazing game, it's an amazing mod, and honestly, the people who made it, everyone who was in the screen, credited, Deserves all their deserves all this attention that this mod is getting. It's one of the most greatest things I've ever played, and I cannot wait to play it more because I still have the Natsuki Enyuri round afterwards. And uh, uh, before I forget, uh, because we did the Halloween thing, let's skip Halloween for Natsuki and not Yuri's round. So yeah, I think that's watching. I'll see you guys tomorrow with the uh, Natsuki route. So, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys then. Goodbye.